Hello everyone, the sun has gone down and it is officially the Sabbath. Welcome to this week's service on the Sabbath. I titled today's sermon, Daniel, the signing of the peace treaty. Now I get a lot of emails, a lot of personal messages uh, in my inbox asking me, how close are we to the seven year peace treaty between Israel and Palestine? So that is a topic and a concern on a lot of brothers and sisters minds today we're going to take a look at that we're going to go to announcements very quickly join us 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time praise and worship music begins at 6 30 over at tiny chat live chat room we had such um, an amazing service Wednesday you could feel and experience the Holy Spirit and we are going to have a wonderful wonderful service be sure to join us and be part of our church family. Another announcement. I have invited someone. I may have been too short of notice to be our, a special guest on our Tiny Chat service for Saturday. So that's up in there. We're going to have to wait and see uh, if there is enough time. But starting next week, Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, we are going to have our live tiny chat are you rapture ready church and if you would like to be a guest a speaker at our live service please send me an email or a message right here uh, in my inbox on YouTube or go to tmasblue7 at aol.com t-m-a-s-b-l-u-e the number seven at aol.com I want to cover a few things you know it, when you're on YouTube, uh, you know, I am not going to pull any punches. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. That's uh, not how I do things. I hope everyone likes me. I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I just want to bring the truth, and it saddens me. It weighs heavy on my heart when there are so many viewers and subscribers that are basically being misled. Now, I did a, a video a few days ago regarding this uh, mandatory vaccines beginning in Oklahoma and these metal bracelets and I brought you the truth and that upset a lot of people now the person that put this video out has a large following and believe me I am under a great deal of attack not by a lot of them which uh, is wonderful but there are a few that are saying some terrible accusations against me and I'm going to go over that very quickly I had to actually ban them from my channel but um, the fact remains this was an old old story the person that put this out knew that I played the audio from back in 2009 the video I gave you the link is right here on YouTube it's the same video that the person that originally uploaded this scare uh, had in front of them so they knew it was from 2009 but they wanted to pull this off as it was as if it was happening now and it was with the uh, Ebola virus it was actually a video from 2009 it's right here on YouTube but it was about the swine flu remember we had the swine flu uh, then we had the H1N1 a bird flu scare and now it's Ebola but this was going back to the time when everyone was talking about the swine flu and this person who was supposed to be a, a police officer or a lieutenant or something that's very very questionable uh, to say the least but what really happened had nothing to do with today it was a long time ago it uh, had to do with a mandatory decision uh, that was passed to vaccinate the pigs not people so that ruffled a lot of feathers so a lot of accusations against me uh, one being that uh, why don't I go get a job now when I first came on YouTube those of you that have been following me know that I worked in investigations with a company called CSSI investigations and what I would do is I would go to various uh, locations that were unfinished uh, uh, property uh, building complexes that were in the process of being built to be there and to assure that no one broke in a lot of times people would come in and they would like to steal copper 
and I used to do my videos from that location. Uh, a year or so ago, there was a, a, a conflict of interest. I made it clear when I was hired, I can't and I won't work on the Sabbath. And we had a falling out, and I actually won that decision, but I left that uh, employer. I have been working a long time. My wife, I've worked my entire life. My wife uh, is a kitchen and bath designer, but she also has another business where uh, she uh, does professional artwork and uh, uh, airbrushing. And what I do there is I am in charge of customer service. I'm on the phone while I'm out helping the homeless and I am booking various events. And I am a subcontractor for my second job uh, for home maintenance and um, landscaping. And now that the season is is getting cold and winter is coming in the winter months we go in and we uh, weatherize uh, various homes that are for sale or that have been through foreclosures so I am very busy that's why it's hard to come on YouTube a lot I'm very very tired finally so I got that out of the way finally um, with the ministry if you feel that to give to our ministry I'm not I don't need a job I've already got two and I have always worked by the sweat of uh, my brow, but if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to give to our ministry, the link will be below. Peace treaty against, between rather, Israel and Palestine. But let's go to the living word because I think uh, there's more to this than you can even imagine. It goes beyond Israel and Palestine. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. A lot of people aren't aware. Isaiah 28. And beginning at uh, verse 14 wherefore hear the word of the Lord ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves now let's move on to uh, verse 18. And your covenant with death. With death. It doesn't say palace. This says death. Shall be uh, disannulled. And your agreement. There is your. Right, well, we can't find the word agreement. A peace treaty, a peace agreement. Well, your agreement with hell shall not stand when the overflowing scourge shall pass through. Then ye shall be trodden down by it. Now let's go to where everyone is talking about and concerned today. Daniel 9, and we're going to begin at uh, verse 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince shall come, uh, that shall come rather, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be with a flood and unto the end of the war. Desolations are determined. Now, before I go on to verse 27, you know, there are a lot of videos, a lot of people. When John Kerry was over there trying to come up with this peace uh, arrangement between Israel and Palestine, that's the seven-year peace treaty. That's what it is. And, and, you know, we follow man and we don't follow the living word. So let me read this. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week with many not just one this covenant will be with many look what is going on in the world today in end time prophecy with the Jordan now with the Jordan being quite upset over Israel and they had every right to for what took place closing that mosque on the Temple Mount now there are gonna there is gonna be an agreement with many uh, all of Israel's enemies. This Antichrist will come and he will make peace, but not with just, uh, and it will be the biblical Antichrist. It won't be John Kerry, and it won't be with just Palestine. It will be with many. How many people want to see Israel wiped off the face of the earth? We've got Jordan upset now. We've got Iran who made it clear 
that's what they want. They want to wipe Israel off of the map. We've got Palestine, we've got all the surrounding areas. So what I believe this covenant with many, it won't, it won't be a seven year, it won't be what's going on between Israel and Palestine. It may be the European Union, a lot, uh, the United Nations, a lot more with many, many, many multitudes more than just Israel and, and what's going on between Israel and Palestine and now Jordan. But it, it may be the United Nations, this European Union. So that's what I wanted to share with you all today. Feeling a little better, lift me up in prayer. My ear is still, it's ringing. Is anyone, try, is somebody trying to call me? It's still ringing. I need your prayer, prayer. There is so much power in prayer. I love you very much. We are going out with the ministry in the morning it is getting so cold it's actually snowing today there are so many in need please open your heart to the poor if you feel that to give to the ministry the link will be below leave me comments